In this shoemaking tutorial, I will show you how you can make any boot design when you will know this primary boot construction. So, let's start. Learn how to make shoes with my step-by-step -step video courses. I guess you want to create many different boot designs. Boots with zipper, with laces, uh, ankle boots or high top boots or Chelsea boot or whatever. So you don't need to know all these different boot constructions. All you need to know is how to create this pattern of the boot with high top that arrives until knee. So what I mean any boot design? Everything that you can imagine inside of these boundaries, inside of the boundaries of this boot, you can create. And all you need to do is to know how to build this construction. So after you will know how to build it, you can make it with zipper inside, with zipper in front, with zipper in the back, with laces, boot with, boots with uh, elastics, boots with straps any boot design and of course you can change the height of this boot this is the maximum height until knee then if you want to create higher boot you will need to make another calculations to measure your feet but this classic boot construction is enough to create all other boot types that arise until knee uh, and lower than knee okay so what i mean any boot design so right now I will show you a few examples of, of what you can do if you will have this primary pattern of the boot. You see, first of all, I want to explain you. This pattern has zipper inside. It's one of the classic foot for, uh, boot types that you can create. But you don't need to use this construction with the zipper inside. You can change it and make, for example, boots that has lower uh, top line, it's ankle boot but with a zipper in the center of your boot you see and this zipper can arrive until toe if you want but here it will be difficult to last it something like this for example or higher than this with different design of the toe cap straight line round light whatever you want you see this is another type of fastening i don't have here any zipper any laces i change this pattern simple pattern and added here this element where this boot opens like this and has enough entrance to enter your feet and then closes with this element this design element and this boot was created working with this simple pattern classic pattern of the high boot what i made here i changed the line the height of the top and i changed here the dimension of the pattern to calculate the entrance of the feet because here I don't have any zipper, okay? But I could do it only when I will have this primary pattern. Next example. This one, for example, it not the boot with the maximum top. I changed the top line and made here and uh, this design. It's not straight line. So your possibilities here is really unlimited. You can change whatever you want inside of these boundaries and you see this boot is far away from classic boot it has a lot of zippers um, i wanted to create something um, here with the zipper so it was made on this shulas and i i will talk about shulas later so you see this is how you, it will be on the shulas it's boot with different pattern approach pattern uh, and design but this boot is uh, was made working with this pattern again this pattern we have to draw perpendicular line on the line d n and mark this point b1 line here of your tongue in 90 degrees to this line so we will get here beautiful cross line if you want to make it symmetrical you can change your design here make for example here i want to make something like this this one side the inner side and the second side of the inner side and they will 
on the inner side of our living. Here we have a zipper and we add here one centimeter. We just transferred it from our basic pattern because we did it here on the basic pattern. I transferred this line, okay, here from the central part, so from, from the central line here, I add eight millimeters. That's it. We finished our wood. Let's see how it looks. It's beautiful. Today in this lesson you finally understood all benefits of our preparation. Another example of, of wood that I made with a zipper inside, inside of the uh, wood and it has this element here and it also possible to create only when you have simple classic construction of the boot. And last one that I wanted to show you, that also far away from classic boot, to show you what I mean boundaries, inside of the boundaries of the boot. You see, this is, I will show you the exact pattern that I use here. This is the pattern of this boot, the primary pattern from which I started to change the design to create this boot. You see, and the boundaries are the same. What I change here, the elements inside of the pattern, I changed the top line and I left here the zipper inside. But if I would want, I can create here laces, not here, but boots with laces, as I told you before, with laces in front of, a, of the boot, with the construction of Oxford shoes or derby shoes, with elastics like Chelsea boot and with any height of the top line. Now let's talk about shoe last to create any boot design. There is special boot last to work with and create boots, any boot type. But there is special pattern making technique that you can use to create boots working with simple pump last, any pump last. And I teach it how to create um, boots working with pump last in my boot course. Now, you see, there is a difference in the dimension of the boot last and in the dimension of the pump last. But with special calculations for each shoe last size, you can work with simple pump last. Now I will show you, for example, this boot last, special boot last, and pump last with the same toe shape but the construction of the sh of the shoe last is the pump shoe construction so working with this shoe last i can create here any footwear types pump uh, pumps any cord shoe and boots because of this special pattern making technique so if you don't have boot last you can work with your pump last and create boots the heel height here doesn't important what is, is important here is right calculations to build your boot working with pump last. And now to, to demonstrate it more clear, I will show you different patterns of the boots created on different shoe last types. So this one, for example, you see the construction was built on this boot last, special boot last. Right now I will show you another pattern of the boot, this one and it was built on a simple pump last, okay? So you see that they look almost the same. There is some difference between these measurements and uh, maybe uh, the shape of the toe but, uh, and high heel, but, the, but how to construct it working with the same measurements that I teach in my courses, same here and same here, you will be able to create this boot pattern working with simple pump last. Now I will show you that the difference between heel height isn't important because this one, for example, this boot were made working with this pump last and you see it has same construction. What is the difference here is this line because of the heel height. Here I have low heel, here I have high heel, and this is the difference between these two patterns. The conclusion is that you don't need to have special boot, this one. You can work with any pump last that you have, with low heel, with high heel, and when you will know 
how to create the primary construction of the boot until the knee working with special boot or uh, boot last or working with pump last you can change this design in the boundaries the design of the boot in the boundaries of this basic boot pattern and create different boot designs with the zipper in front with the zipper inside with the laces i don't have here laces with this element or any other that you will want including chelsea boot with elastics any boot type you can create if you will know this basic construction of the boot okay thank you for watching if you have questions you are welcome to ask me your questions and of course don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified when my new video will come out thank you again and see you in the next video bye